Hello, Daz Studio Enthusiasts! This is Not From This World, and I want to welcome you back to my tutorial page. Well, today I want to talk about something that one of my subscribers here on YouTube mentioned, and that is a script called Limstick. Now, Limstick is designed for animations, but I don't really do a lot of animations. In fact, I do zero animations in Daz Studio. But I have played around with Limstick a little bit, and it can work for static props as well. And so I thought I would show you how I would use it for a static prop. And what Limstick does is it's going to take wrists and ankles and anchor them to a prop. And this is very similar to pinning objects like I did in a previous video. You can see here in a video I made quite a while ago and it got a lot of attention is we pinned the character to this athletic apparatus and I could then move the character around and it would be pinned to the device. Now, Limstick is going to do something very similar, even though it's designed for animations. And I know I need to work more on animations. I just have such a full schedule rendering static pictures and comics, commissions, that kind of thing. I just don't have time to sit around and play with animations. And I've always been unsure of whether to use Blender or Daz or a combination of that. And you've known in a few of my previous videos that I've played around with AI. I love animation and I want to be able to do it. I'm just not ready to take that leap yet. So we're going to look at Limstick with a more static example. Now, Limstick comes in Daz Studio in their shop. And you can buy Genesis 9 Limstick, or you can buy Genesis 3 and 8 Limstick. They are a little bit pricey. Actually, Genesis 9 is a little bit cheaper, about a dollar cheaper. And Limstick for Genesis 8, which is what Milica is, is about $26. And I know that's a little expensive, but if you are into animation or into more realistic posing for static pictures, this may come in handy. So I went ahead and downloaded this Limstick for Genesis 8 so we could play around with it using Milica. And I've got Milica kind of in a scene here and she is going to volunteer to kind of help us with that athletic equipment that was in the previous video. I gotta tell you, if you're gonna use Limstick, this is where, and I think for the very first time in almost 200 tutorial videos, this is the first time I'm going to use the timeline and show you a little bit about the timeline. I absolutely hate the timeline. I hate it. I never use it. I hate it. It frustrates me. I was actually playing with it earlier today to make this tutorial and it was driving me crazy. So if you out there are good with the timeline, please comment and give me some advice on how to use it better. But in the meantime, we're going to set up Milica and I'm going to show you how I figured out how to do this using the timeline. And so Milica here is kind of in a uh, dungeon athletic room and we're going to add that device to her. So if I go to my content library, the um, athletic apparatus is in a product called Mad Lab 6. So let's get that up and open. So you can see it is the, a rack here. I'm going to have Milica selected. I'm going to pose her. And once she is posed, I'm going to go ahead and simulate her close again. That way we won't have any boob action going on, which is, well, not a bad thing with Milica, but not good for YouTube. I have discovered that um, when you are going to be doing this posing with limb stick, you want to simulate before and then probably after you run the limb stick 
script. I also have to say that Milika's looking kind of good in the dungeon rag apparel. I'm a big fan. Okay, so she is now posed, so I'm going to go back to my content library, and I'm going to add the athletic apparatus into the scene. So now you can see that she is stuck on this athletic apparatus, which is pretty nice. It's actually super sexy for her. So she doesn't mind. She said that she uh, would help me out with this tutorial. So thank you, Milika. Anyway, uh, we've got her set up. Now, this is where I run into a lot of trouble because after I get this scene set up, you would think that common sense would say that we could just open up our timeline and start working. But if I do that, my timeline is just full of crap. And this is where you guys got to help me. Like, how do I clear all this stuff out of here? It really drives me crazy. I hate it. I've tried to do this and I just get more and more frustrated with this stupid timeline. So here is what I do is I don't go into the timeline immediately. I am going to select Milica and we're going to go up here to file and uh, we're going to save and we're going to save Milica and this apparatus as a scene subset. And when I do that, I'm going to just deselect everything except Milica, hit accept. And now I have saved her as a subset. So this should fix the stupid timeline issue that I keep having and I don't have to play around with it. So now I'm going to just go and open a new scene. All right. Now, once I have a new scene open, I'm just going to go to file and merge. And then I'm going to go to my Milica that I just created and open her up and we're going to merge her into the scene. Okay, so I have merged Milica into the scene. And what's nice about this is when you do this, if I go to the timeline, there's nothing now in the timeline. It's completely empty. And see, I can move the timeline and nothing's going to happen. Now, this is where we're going to have to pose our character how we want and then use the timeline. So what I'm going to do is I am going to move the timeline to somewhere around 15, let's say. And then I'm going to select Milica. And in this case, I'm just going to select her abdomen. She's going to be doing some abdomen workout. And I'm going to move her abdomen into a pose I like and kind of show her struggling with the toggle here. So see, I can take this and I can kind of adjust it. Let's put it like that. And then we have now posed her and the pose happened at 15 under the timeline. So see now if I grab the timeline and I go back, see how she's moving into that position. I'm getting a little bit of boob action going on and that's why we might have to um, re-simulate when we're finished with this. But you can see she's now struggling. Okay, now this is where the limb stick comes into play. So I'm gonna go to my content and I'm going to go to Limstick and I have it saved in a folder called Scripts. And it's right here under the 3D Universe, Limstick. When you open Limstick up after you've purchased it, you're going to get a How to Use tab that you can click on and then read some directions. And then you're going to get the Limstick application or script. Now, what we're going to do is we are going to pin Milica's arms in place and to do that we're going to click on her hand her left hand and then holding the control button i'm going to control on the left arm of the exercise device now once i have those selected i'm just going to double click on the limb stick and it's going to come up with this tab here and it's going to say i've selected the following appendage to target the rack uh, T arm three, and that's Milica's left hand. That's what I want. I can play with this, and uh, this is under the animation. We can process it through the play range, full range, or custom range. I'm going to keep it on the play range, and then I'm going to make sure that I deselect, if it is selected, this respect joint limits. 
All right, so now that I have that set up, we could change the number of frames that none of this matters. And I'm just gonna hit process. Then it comes up with this. It says the limb stick is finished. Uh, there are some warnings. It just says that the limb cannot extend far enough to reach the target. We can uh, change this. It says it kind of gives you a resolution proposition. We may or may not need to do that. I'll show you how to do this if we need to, but let's hit OK. So now if I run the animation, you can see that her arm is stuck to that arm of the exercise device. It's pretty cool. Now I can go and do the same thing with her right arm. So I'm going to hit the right arm, then hit control and hit that arm of the machine. And we're going to do the same thing. So I come up with this tab under limb stick, make sure that the respect joint limits is deselected and we'll hit process. All right, so it did the same thing. Now, if I run my animation, you see she is stuck to the machine. So now I can pose in various ways and uh, run a render. So this is pretty cool. Now, what's really cool is if I go back to zero, if you are having trouble and the arms are still moving, select your hand and then in your scene tab, you can, under parameters, go and find your twist side to side and bend. And if you need to, just hit your little gear, go to parameter settings and deselect this. I've already done it. And so I have deselected the use limits for her arms. And that's why when I move this, she is not moving with it. So it's pretty cool. All right, now next, let's move her bottom a little bit. As she's struggling, she's gonna be moving her bottom. So I'm gonna again, take this from zero to 15, and then I'm gonna select her pelvis. And we're gonna do the same kind of thing with her pelvis. I'm gonna move her pelvis. So let's kind of move it just subtly like that. And with that, you can see now she's moving not just her top, but her bottom as well. So this is pretty cool. Okay, so now I'm going to link with limb stick her ankle. Make sure you have the uh, foot selected. Hit control and then select the arm of the device and we'll run limb stick for this. So I'm just gonna make sure all my settings are the same, hit process. Okay, and then I'm gonna do the same thing with her right foot. So I'm gonna select her right foot, hit control, hit the arm device, hit limb stick, process, hit okay. And now we have her ankles and arms pinned to the device. So now see if I move this, we should get some various movements from Milica. All right, now I should be able to re-simulate Milica at the timeline of 15. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. All right, the simulation was done. And now we're going to have this pose and her clothes in the right position. Now, I did notice that as I play with this, now that I re-simulated, if I move, her clothes don't really want to follow. So if you like her pose halfway between 0 and 15, you'll probably need to re-simulate her clothes, but you get the idea. So now that she is in the right position. I can just get rid of the timeline. I can go up to my content library. We're just gonna add that dungeon right back in that I initially had. So here's my dungeon. And then she is needing to have her face and head posed a little bit. So let's do that and we'll give her a nice expression. Let's see uh, what Iray has going on. 
and you can see that it is working pretty well so i kind of like that i could play around with the lighting a little bit more but that looks pretty good so i'm going to go back to my texture shaded and let's just open this up and give it a render now i am not an expert at this i need some help with that stupid timeline it drove me crazy this uh, short tutorial, it's taken me about three hours to make because of the stupid timeline. It's why I don't use the timeline. So I would really appreciate some advice on the timeline. And once I learn it better, I would love to give tutorials on how to use the darn thing because I absolutely hate it. But for now, let's render this up and we'll put it at the end of the video. Probably not going to be my thumbnail. Uh, Milica on the uh, exercise equipment for a thumbnail probably isn't the best idea, but um, I'll probably just put her kind of standing for the thumbnail. But let's do a render and we'll see what it looks like. And uh, I appreciate all of your comments. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And until next time, happy rendering. Mm -hmm.